Acetylopram is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor used in the treatment of major depressive disorder, MDD, generalized anxiety disorder, GAD, and other select psychiatric disorders such as obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD. In this video, let's find found. What is acetylopram? What is acetylopram used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking acetylopram? How does acetylopram work? How to use acetylopram? What is acetylopram? Acetylopram, sold under the brand names Lexapro and Ciprolex, among others, is an antidepressant of the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor class. Acetylopram is mainly used to treat major depressive disorder and generalized anxiety disorder. Acetylopram was approved for use in the United States in 2002. Acetylopram is rarely replaced by twice the dose of citalopram, though acetylopram is safer and more effective. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. In 2020, it was the 15th most commonly prescribed medication in the United States, with more than 30 million prescriptions. What is acetylopram used for? Acetylopram is indicated for the acute and maintenance treatment of major depressive disorder, MDD in adults and pediatric patients 12 years old and older and for the acute treatment of generalized anxiety disorder, GAD, in adults and pediatric patients 7 years old and older. It is additionally indicated for symptomatic relief of obsessive-compulsive disorder, OCD, in Canada. Contraindication Hypersensitivity Co-administration with pimazide Co-administration with serotonergic drugs Concomitant use or within 14 days of MAOIs increases the risk of serotonin syndrome. Side effects. Very common effects, backslash 10% incidence, include headache, 24%, nausea, 18%, ejaculation disorder, 9-14%, somnolence, 4-13%, insomnia, 7-12%. Common effects, 1 to 10% incidence, include abnormal dreams, anisocoria, anorgasmia, anxiety, arthralgia, joint pain, constipation, decreased or increased appetite, diarrhea, dilated pupils, dizziness, dry mouth, excessive sweating, fatigue, Pharmacodynamic. Acetylopram belongs to a class of medications called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs. These agents cause an increase in serotonin levels in neuronal synapses by preventing the reuptake of serotonin, 5-HT, into the presynaptic terminals of serotoneurons. As compared to other SSRIs, it appears to have a relatively quick onset of effect due to its potency. SSRIs as a class have been associated with abnormal bleeding, particularly in patients receiving concomitant therapy with other medications affecting hemostasis, and with the development of serotonin syndrome. Use acetylopram with caution in patients with a higher than baseline risk of bleeding and in patients receiving concomitant therapy with other serotonergic drugs. Acetylopram may also cause a discontinuation syndrome with abrupt removal of the drug and should be slowly tapered if discontinuation of therapy is warranted. Mechanism of Action Acetylopram, like other selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, enhances serotonergic activity by binding to the orthosteric, i.e. primary, binding site on the serotonin transporter, CERT, the same site to which endogenous 5-HT binds, and thus prevents the reuptake of serotonin into the presynaptic neuron. Acetylopram, along with paroxetine, is also considered an allosteric serotonin reuptake inhibitor. It binds to a secondary allosteric site on the CERT molecule to more strongly inhibit 5-HT reuptake. Its combination of orthosteric and allosteric activity on CERT allows for greater cellular 5-HT levels, a faster onset of action, and greater efficacy as compared to other SSRIs. The sustained elevation of synaptic 5-HT eventually causes desensitization of 5-HT1A autoreceptors, 
which normally shut down endogenous 5-HT release in the presence of excess HT. This desensitization may be necessary for the full clinical effect of SSRIs and may be responsible for their typically prolonged onset of action. Acetylopram has shown little to no binding affinity at a number of other receptors, such as histamine and muscarinic receptors, and minor activity at these off-targets may explain some of its adverse effect. Half-life The elimination half-life of acetylopram is 27 to 32 hours, though this is increased by approximately 50% in the elderly and doubled in patients with reduced hepatic function. The elimination half-life of acetylopram's primary metabolite, estesmethylcetalopram, is approximately 54 hours at steady state. Dose Major Depressive Disorder Indicated for Acute and Maintenance Treatment of Major Depressive Disorder, MDD 10 mg POQ day, may increase to 20 mg per day after one week. Generalized Anxiety Disorder Indicated for acute treatment of general anxiety disorder, GAD. 10 mg POQ day, may increase to 20 mg per day after one week, maintain at lowest effective dose, and assess need of therapy periodically if extended therapy required. Obsessive compulsive disorder, off-label. 10 mg POQ day, may increase to 20 mg per day after one week. Maintain at lowest effective dose and assess need of therapy periodically if extended therapy required. Insomnia, off-label. Secondary to depression, 5 to 20 mg, PO over 8-week period. Secondary to panic disorder, men, 5 to 10 mg, PO over 8-week period. Vasomotor symptoms associated with menopause, off-label. 10 mg POQ day may increase to 20 mg POQ day after 4 weeks if symptoms not adequately controlled. Safety Advice US FDA Pregnancy Category C Animal reproduction studies have shown an adverse effect on the fetus and there are no adequate and well-controlled studies in humans, but potential benefits may warrant use of the drug in pregnant women despite potential risks. That's all the information about acetylopram we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.